So in the last video, we looked at getting this far. We've drawn our scatter diagram. Now I want to find the equation of a trend curve. So to find an equation of a trend curve, I click add to plot. It gives me these options. I'm going to add a trend curve. I'm going to click OK. It gives me the option of choosing what trend curves I can. So I can have a linear one and I can change the color of that. Or I can have non-linear ones. OK, when you're thinking about fitting a non-linear one, think very carefully, does it make sense? And then once I've done that, I don't have to click OK again because it's just something that NZ does. I can then close that down and there's my trend curve. Now, if I look at that, that trend curve makes sense. I've got a good scatter here with points above and below the trend line. I've got two points here, which I know just by looking at my trend line, I might need to further investigate. And it might be evidence that I need to put a quadratic trend line in or a nonlinear trend line. And I have one point up here where I've got a point that really does not follow the trend at all. You could argue that this point doesn't follow the trend, but it would be something that we'd have to investigate. OK, so we've got some information there and I need to investigate a few points. But for the time being, I'm just going to try and find my equation. To find my equation, I'm going to get, get summary. Actually, uh, before I do that, uh, I'll get summary. There you go. There's my equation. So it gives me my gradient, my variable and my y-intercept. It also gives me my correlation coefficient. Correlation coefficients are only calculatable for values that are, or for lines that are linear. So therefore, there's no point talking about them if they're not linear. But the other thing is that there's no point talking about them unless you actually understand what they're calculating. OK, so you actually truly need to understand that. It is not in your standards. You don't need to talk about correlation coefficients. OK, last comment about this equation, whatever values you have in here is the values that the equation will calculate for. So if I suddenly change my graph and drag new values in, but click back to one of my previous plots, the equation is going to be for the set of variables that are currently in my variable one, variable two. OK, so you cannot go back to a previous graph and then say get summary without dragging the right variables into those points. OK, so that's how to get your trend line and your graph. We will do more next time when we start looking at managing these odd data points.